This hostel just behind me is where the body of a woman was found over the weekend. One resident says the woman was experiencing flu-like symptoms before she died alone in her room. Ironically, just outside a long queue of cars trailing to a COVID-19 testing station. Here at Tokozo Hostel, social distancing is near impossible as residents share rooms and communal areas, often overcrowded. Nelly Bengu, a community health care worker and resident at Okoza, says she accompanied a COVID-19 positive resident to hospital. She claims hospital staff delayed admitting the woman until she threatened them. We had to hire a car to take her to Eddington Hospital. Upon our arrival, they told us they won't admit her since her COVID tests were done by a municipal clinic. After a lengthy debate, I had to ask for the names of the people who were refusing to admit the patient. At that time, the patient was asthmatic. I told them I was going to report them. They eventually admitted her. The following day, we got a call. She died. Bengu says she also tested positive to coronavirus. Other residents need to be tested as well. But now the problem is, if they do not have symptoms, they won't be tested. I did my COVID-19 test last Friday at Eddington Hospital, and today the results came back positive. We appeal to government to intervene at Togoza Hostel and disinfect the entire hostel and also to test all the residents. We are living together, ensuring rooms and bathroom. We are all scared at the moment. Residents say practicing social distancing is impossible in overcrowded rooms. We are not safe. And what we need in the government now uh, is to come and spray the the, the hostel, the whole hostel, and sanitize the whole hostel. Please, 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 guys, do us a favor, because now we are scared. We are, we are, we are, we are not happy this, in the situation we had. And a call for mass testing to be conducted at other hostels. At Togo, there is a lot of people who are already affected. So now the municipality and health department, they must stand up and do something at the Togo Hostel because there is also the baby there, the babies there. Here at Dalton Hostel in central Durban, overcrowding is a huge concern. As many as 20 people occupying one room. We cannot confirm nor deny the case of COVID-19 uh, at uh, Togoza Hostel because it is not our prerogative to do so, but rather the Department of Health. But what we can confirm is that indeed we did uh, disinfect all our hostels, we did uh, the deep cleaning in all our hostels to ensure that uh, we protect all our residents. The Provincial Health Department says it's investigating claims of ill treatment of patients by staff at Addington Hospital. Jade Lee Paulser, SABC News, Durban.